Hello folks, it's Mark with Launchpad B. I know it's been a while, but I'm coming in today with a ClipChamp tutorial. Today's comment comes from a person called Viz. Now Viz has left two comments on my channel, pretty much for the same reason. They go on to say, how to add the orange highlight. Is it by using PowerPoint? On another video, Viz says, how did you do the orange callout? Now the short answer Viz is yes, you can make them in PowerPoint, but the ones that I do, I actually use a site called Motion Array because I do a lot of editing in Premiere Pro just because it has the ability to do something called keyframing, which ClipChamp does not have the capability to do. Now I do tell people that eventually you can graduate from using ClipChamp and move into Premiere Pro, which is a lot more challenging to use. And when you do, you can actually partner with a lot of different sites out there to download what are called motion graphics. There is a way to do that using either PowerPoint or any other software you like to create images with, it just has to be a PNG image. Basically it means that it's a transparent image. Here's what I mean. If we take a look here at Premiere Pro, I went ahead and drew these already. It's basically a shape with a triangle here, uh, and I just added the words to it. Where I typed in call out. Uh, now I made four different versions, one for each situation. Sometimes you want the arrow to be pointing up, down, left or right, so you can actually do these all at once. When you're ready to, you're essentially just gonna right click it, you're gonna select it, and you're gonna hit save as picture. PowerPoint will go ahead and save those as a PNG for you. If you look down here, it says portable networks graphic. And right here are the four that I've already created. And once again, they are transparent so that the, you, they don't have like a white box around them basically. And once you get those, you can put those into ClipChamp and here's what it looks like. So we're in ClipChamp right now and we're taking a look at a really cool Alienware computer. It's got four fans in it. I believe this is the Alienware X15. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a call out onto my timeline here and uh, we can go ahead and size it and point it at what we need. So let's say we're calling out one of these fans over here. Uh, so essentially there's your call out. It's gonna go ahead and just come in. Now, if you wanna add a fade effect to that, you can go ahead and do so. Let's say we wanna fade it by a half second. Uh, we can go ahead and add that and it's gonna fade in. So very basic, you basically bring it, fades in, boom, there you go. Now, if you wanna make a motion graphic, the animated version, you can actually do that in PowerPoint. You can also do it in Photoshop, but it might be a little bit more complicated if you're not familiar with it. The version in PowerPoint is very easy. Here's how to do it. So basically we're gonna open PowerPoint. We're gonna create our exact same shape, but now what we're doing is we're basically telling PowerPoint that we want to do an animation. So what I've done is essentially this shape comes in first, this shape comes in next, and then this shape comes in third. And when you play them all together, it's gonna to look like this. Now, I also put them on a green background. And the reason is, is because I'm gonna export this as a movie and I'm gonna use ClipChamp's ability to do green screen removal to basically turn this into a transparent image. Now, what I also did in PowerPoint is I created a secondary slide where there's no animation. And that's just for it to sit static. The reason I do two is because I want the call out to stay on screen for a duration of time. I don't want it to just animate and then disappear is what it'll do if you only did it as a single slide. And then when you export this as an MP4, you actually have the ability to go in, hit the export button, select video, and then right here, you have the ability to adjust how long that slide stays present. So that secondary slide is gonna be on there for 10 seconds. I can just trim it and remove the part that I don't need. Now, essentially the way that it works is you're gonna go to file, you're gonna go down to where it says export, and then you're gonna select create a video. Uh, then you're gonna go ahead and simply just save it to your computer. And here's what it looks like once you've created it. There's nothing there and then it's just gonna show up. Boom, 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 there you go, animated. Now I know it's not a complicated animation, but you can take it to the next level if you have time and if you're willing to tinker with it using PowerPoint. But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and show you how to use it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop it into our timeline. And now we're gonna go ahead and use a trim feature. So right about here is where it shows up. So we're gonna go ahead and use the scissors to trim here. We're gonna go ahead and place it now. But here we go, so it's gonna animate in, boom, and then it's gonna be there, and then we'll just trim it where we don't need it anymore. Go ahead and cut that out. And then now we're gonna go ahead and resize it. So here we go. And we can size it accordingly. Now, because we're gonna be using the green screen filter, let's go ahead and just select here. At the top where it has filters, let's go ahead and go down, and we're gonna find the one that says green screen. There it is. And so there we go. We have now created an animated call out using PowerPoint and ClipChamp, and you don't have to use Premiere Pro or have a subscription to Motion Array, and it plays, and it comes in just like that. Now, if you want it to go faster, you can actually go up to the top here where it says speed. We can go to fast, and uh, we let's say we just want it to go double the speed, and so here we go. Boom, 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 there, there it is. 
So in a nutshell, that is how you can use PowerPoint to create your own callouts and customize them as you wish and then bring them into Clip Channel. Now for everybody else out there, if you found this video to be beneficial, be sure to drop a like or leave me a comment. Also, if you're interested in staying up to some of the latest cool things that I figured out about ClipChamp and maybe PowerPoint, uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, stay tuned. In addition, if you have any questions or if you wanna figure out how to do something on ClipChamp, be sure to leave a comment below, ask me a question, and I'll try to get to it. Now, I do apologize because there's a lot of people out there that have left me comments and I haven't been able to get caught up on that. And I do assure you that I am working to get caught up on a lot of those callouts. It's been a very busy Q4, um, so I hope you guys just bear with me. Again, thanks for watching everyone and have a good day.